He may be shy, but this young goat is the star of his flock. They are all Pashmina goats, a rare Himalayan breed prized for their soft wool. Last year, Nori became the first cloned animal at this biotechnology center in Indian Kashmir. Scientists want to boost dwindling production of the region's famed Pashmina wool by increasing the productivity rather than numbers of goats. If you increase the numbers, you have a further scarcity. As you see last year, time uh, in winter, there were so many deaths due to fodder scarcity. So they don't have fodder there. So only thing to improve is that if the numbers remain stagnant or slightly increase, but if we are able to produce more quantity of pashmina from each animal, so overall uh, our uh, production of pashmina will increase. Pashmina goats live in a remote region in northwest India, where a harsh windy climate creates their silky soft undercoat. The finest wool is spun into shawls, then embroidered with intricate designs for a finished product that can sell for thousands of dollars in the West. Thin yet warm. There's no material in the world, it's the tafta, which is thin, fine, hand woven, hand spun, and hand finished, or even when it's embroidered, hand embroidered. Nowhere in the whole world you will find something like that. Kashmiri weavers have made shawls on hand looms for centuries but scarce raw materials and an explosion of cheap machine-made foreign imports mean the craft is in danger of dying out. The government is helping traditional artisans by setting up a laboratory to test for fakes and securing a geographical patent for the fabric and process of shawl making. So I think this is an uh, interesting uh, uh, tool by which uh, the uh, value of the traditional craft will come back to the region and benefits uh, the practitioners and the owners and the real owners of that craft. But it's unclear if science can stop market trends. As work continues to clone goats and ensure a greater supply of quality wool, experts are aware that most buyers can't distinguish between a fake and a genuine pashmina shawl. And they fear many will be unwilling to pay the difference for a branded product crafted by hand from the wool of homebred goats like these.